preparation, please have ready the following. Please prepare a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the electrodes using a Phillips screwdriver. Don't use canned air to blow inside the unit. Fluoride gas will damage the splicer. Use the large brush to clean dust and other substances from the splice area. Also, clean the inside of the wind cover in the same way. Gently clean the V-groove using the V-groove brush. Use lint-free cotton swab dry to clean ceramic blocks and pushers. Also, check whether the spring moves well. Clean the red LED covers and magnifying lenses. If necessary, Clean the LED and magnifying glasses again with a brush. Finally, reinstall the electrodes using a Phillips screwdriver. Please prepare Allen wrench. Remove the retaining screw on the cleaver. Carefully remove the cleaver. Use a cleaning brush to carefully clean any fibers stuck to the cleaver. Empty the trash bin if necessary. Carefully clean the cleaver installation area. Wear safety glasses if necessary before using canned air. Use canned air to clean any remaining debris on the inside and outside of the cleaver. Some fiber may still remain in the cleaver. Start with a low wind power and increase to high power. Please prepare cleaning alcohol and lint-free cotton swab. Lightly soak a lint-free cotton swab with alcohol. Clean all presser pad surfaces. Also, clean chip box roller.
Clean the same area again using a dry lint-free cotton swab. Finally, reinstall the cleaver back into the splicer. Open the cleaver to make sure it opens without any problems. Please turn on the splicer. Open the cover and clean the area with a cleaning brush. Turn on the auto stripper. Close the right side cover so the left side can move. Clean the bottom of the sliding area. Also clean the area where the left and right sides meet. Open the right side cover and turn off the auto stripper. Clean the heating panel using a dry lint-free cotton swab. Use a toothpick to clean between the blade and hot plate. Also, clean between the blade and the rubber pad. Use cleaning brush to clean the entire area again. Prepare cleaning brush again. Open the heater oven and clean the entire area. Test both pushers to make sure they are working properly. Press Enter to enter the main menu, then go to the Cal menu. Please select the Diagnostic Test menu and press the Enter button to run it. It will automatically run dust, LED, motor, and heater tests. Once all tests are complete, the results will be displayed. If anything fails, please contact us. Press the escape button to exit. Go to the main menu. Run arc calibration from the calibration menu. Prepare the left and right side fibers. Make sure the automatic stripper and cleaver are operating properly. The arc calibration automatically selects the correct arc power and optimize splice parameters to help achieve consistent splice results.
When complete, you will see the message calibration complete at the bottom of the screen. If not, please run it again. Now prepare another fibers and test the splicing and the heating. Finished.